What's going on guys, Joey Suggs here. Welcome to today's video and welcome back to another meal prep video. Just finishing off my oats that I made in the last video meal prep and now we're gonna focus on something a little different, hopefully a little simpler and probably not a little cheaper, but we're gonna find out and that is going to be doing meal prep from ordering catering. So I've been seeing this a lot on the internet, mostly like TikTok videos of people who are like hacking meal prep by buying all the food in bulk from catering and making their meals that way. So I'm gonna try it out, give my experience um, and how I compare it to making my meals. Um, and then I'm also gonna do a video in the next video probably of a meal prep company. So that way we can compare all three throughout the three videos. So if you haven't watched my meal prep video, go watch that after this. And if you're not subscribed already, get subscribed so that you're ready for the meal prep company video coming after this one. Now let's go order some catering. So welcome to the office. We're gonna go ahead, pop on the internet, go to Chipotle catering. And I feel like Chipotle is what I've seen been done the most. I feel like Chipotle is one of the more popular options for catering meal prep because you kind of know what you're getting. It's very easy to divvy up and you have your protein, carbs and stuff like that all laid out for you. It looks like there's a couple options of popular builds that we can go with, but I think I want to build my own. So you have a single, a double, and a triple. I think this is just talking about the proteins. I think I'd rather have two proteins, right? So I'm gonna go with the double. Looks like it comes out to $12 a person for 10 people, that's not bad. All right, so you have to do this 24 hours in advance, so I had to pick tomorrow. Um, my location and then the time to pick it up. I picked 5.30 because I'm gonna get it after work. And here we go. It looks like the total comes out to $131 no matter what I pick. I get to choose two bases. I'm gonna go with white rice and black beans. Um, two proteins. Do I go chicken and steak or do I just go double chick? I think I'm gonna go chicken and steak. That sounds smart. Three toppings, lettuce, fajita veggies. And it's kind of tough because sour cream and the cheese, I can easily do myself. <sighs> what do I do here? I think I'm gonna go for their cheese even though it's a higher calorie cheese. Definitely gonna get some guac. Um, I get two salsas, definitely, gonna, I think I'm gonna get double corn salsa actually. And then tortillas, truthfully I'm probably not gonna use tortillas but I'll get this flour tortillas. So that's everything picked. All right, so we have our total at 131. We can go ahead and check out. So total would tax them up to 140 bucks for 10 meals, that's not terrible. Here we go, that was actually really, really simple to do. Uh, I'm gonna see you guys in about 24 hours when I go and pick it up. <laughs> what is literally going on? Look at this right here. I had no idea it was gonna come like this. Oh man, all right, I just got home from work. Let me change real quick and then let's get into these right here. All right, so let me run you through the boxes. The first one is the bag and inside, not a whole lot, but we got some bowls, some silverware and some serving dishes, uh, some napkins, stuff like that. Probably not gonna use any of this stuff, but this is where the magic happens. All right. Box number one contains uh, some of the boring stuff, I guess. Chips, which I don't think I'm gonna eat, or at least not very many of them. Not really on the meal prep plan. Um, some tortillas, I had to pick one, so I just got some soft tortillas. Like I said, probably not gonna use these as much. The lettuce, definitely gonna use that. An absolute insane amount of corn salsa. Definitely gonna use this. A little bit of guac to throw on each one and a little bit of their cheddar cheese to throw on each one. That's box number one, which means box number two has to have all the goodies. We got a massive thing of white rice, some fajita veggies, our steak, our chicken, and our black beans. All right, people, so I have everything laid out now. Um, all the tops off, and now I'm gonna start actually prepping the meals. Now you could do this two ways, right? You could just open every single one of these things every time you wanna make a bowl, but that doesn't make any sense to me at all. So I'm going to try and evenly distribute all of this stuff between all, let's say 10 meals, let's say nine containers, because I'm gonna have one tonight. 
All right, so I have my food scale here. I have my containers. Now here's what I'm gonna do for this. I'm going to assume that this plastic container right here weighs, let's say 50 grams. All right, so I'm gonna see how much this entire thing weighs. And it came out to 1400 grams, which is a lot. And here we go, scooping rice into containers. All right, let me just start off by saying it would be very, very difficult for myself to make rice that tastes this good. Wow, so it took me zero time to cook this and it does taste absolutely incredible. <sighs> all right, so I just finished all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these. And they all ended up roughly around 140 grams-ish, um, but I'm out. So I don't think that this Chipotle catering can do 10 full meals. So I'm only gonna have it do nine. But that said, I'm gonna move on to the beans. And the beans are a little different because there's so much liquid in them that I don't want in the mixture. So the whole thing weighs 1500 grams, but I'm not gonna be able to figure that out. So I'm just gonna go like two scoops or a scoop each and then make another laugh if I need to. So for the beans, they gave me one of these like uh, spoons with holes in it. <laughs> I don't know if that's the technical term, but I'm gonna use this and spoon it in. Okay, so I gotta say the beans were extremely, extremely messy. Um, they just got everywhere. The holes in the spoon went everywhere. Um, and I ended up doing roughly about 110 to 120 grams of beans per container. And it actually worked out really nice uh, number wise and there's not anything left in the container, which is also pretty good. Oh, I just see I just spilled again. Oh, it's gross All right now it's time to move on to the meat and I'm not really sure what I want to do Do I want to have like half and half some be steak some be chicken or do I want to do full chicken and steak bowls for all of them? Part of me wants to split them up because I think I might get tired of them eating the same exact thing every single day But also part of me doesn't want to split them up because I know how good the steak and chicken is together I think I'm gonna go with doing them both together. Together these come out to about 1200 grams, so I'm gonna try and get around 150 grams in each container. I'm gonna see if the math works on that. Not sure if it does. Like it's obviously really, really nice to have all of this stuff cooked for you, ready to go. I think I'm starting to realize they kind of jip me on the most important things in each one. So I don't think I, I don't think I got enough rice and I don't think I got enough meat to really make these like high enough protein and enough carbs, but we're gonna go for it anyways. And I am just making an absolute mess on everything that I do. I guess I didn't really figure that I was gonna still have to be making all the bowls, so I didn't consider all the mess that I normally have whenever I'm meal prepping is still gonna be there even when you're buying all the stuff normally. All right, all the meat's done, and sadly, what I really, really didn't want to happen, happened we have one vegetarian bowl. So I was able to get around 150 grams of meat mixture um, in every single one of them except for this last one. So that is very sad, but we continue on. All right, now I think we need to talk about this massive container of corn salsa. And I'm not even gonna weigh it, I don't care to, but I'm just gonna go ahead and spoon some into each. And let's see, this looks like a good amount. It's right around 80 grams. So that's what I'm gonna do for all the containers. All right, there we go, corned them all up. I do have a pretty decent amount left. I'll probably just put it on Facebook Marketplace and see whoever gets it, gets it. All right, now moving on to our only vegetable source for the entire meal, and that is uh, fajita veggies. There's only about 300 grams of this. So I'm just gonna put about 30 grams in each one. All right, finishing off our last one besides the vegan one, there was some water at the bottom which threw off the weight and therefore we only were able to make eight of them. All right, now I do think this is actually a pretty decent amount of cheese. The entire container is 250. Actually 30 grams per each one will work out pretty well too. Huh, I did not know that. I just found an actual chunk of cheese which tells me that they actually shred their own cheese. I figure it just came in like a big container and they just divvied it up. And that's all our cheese. That one actually worked out pretty well. And now we're almost done. The last thing is the lettuce. And all I'm gonna do is just sprinkle some over top of each one. It's quite literally lettuce, so it doesn't really have any calories. Not gonna worry about the weight of it. And I just wanna fill up each bowl nicely. All right, so here we go. All of my Chipotle bowls ready. It was supposed to make 10 bowls, ended up making eight bowls plus one vegan one, so I don't think I can even really count that. 
eight bowls total. I spent $140. It's not terrible. Um, the guac, I've decided I'm just gonna spoon out as needed. So I don't wanna worry about the brownness spreading. Um, I'm just gonna keep it in this container. The entire process of like making all of these, boxing them all up, about 25, 30 minutes. And there's gonna be a little cleanup time. Definitely faster than cooking everything, but the preparation time actually when you're all done is about the same. All right, we've done all our prep work. Let's see how it tastes. This is gonna sound dumb, but it tastes exactly like Chipotle. I don't know why, but it actually, it tastes healthier and like fresher than Chipotle sometimes, honestly. I don't know why that is. Maybe because I actually made it with my own two hands. So a couple things you're probably wondering. One, what does the macros for one of these even come out to? And two, is it a viable option to do this kind of meal prep instead of making your own food? To answer that, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spend a couple days eating this stuff every single day, and then we're gonna check in. I'm gonna go over the macros with you and kind of my overall experience. Several days later. All right, one of our Final bites of multiple days of Chipotle every day. Mmm, that is actually still really good. So I wanna talk about the macros of the bowl and then also some things that I noticed throughout the week of having this twice a day. First things first, the calories are about right around where I expected them to be. 830 calories for the entire bowl. That's actually pretty solid. What I was kind of underwhelmed with was the amount of protein in the bowl. I feel like because I got gypped on the chicken and the steak, just the amount of it, it didn't work out to as much protein per bowl as I would have liked. 60 grams of protein, mm, it's not the highest protein to calorie ratio that I like seeing in meal prepping, but it's not terrible either. So a little pros and cons from having this every day that I've noticed. One, it is super filling. Like I definitely leave the meal not wanting any more food. You have a lot of carbs and it's a pretty well balanced meal as well. Um, one thing I did not like was having to microwave lettuce. I didn't really think about that while preparing the bowl, but it's really the only way to meal prep it right. It wasn't as big as deal as I thought it was gonna be, but just the idea of microwaving lettuce and it could be wilting um, was kind of gross, but it didn't end up being all that bad. Uh, definitely a huge con was the sodium, the bloating, and the effects on the stomach that Chipotle has. Uh, really, really not good. So you're sitting around two grams of sodium in just this one meal. That is kind of a lot. So keep that in mind. And then another con that I definitely noticed was having the chips and guac and everything else left over. I definitely ended up eating it. I finished the guac. I have probably a little less than half of this bag of chips left. So you have two options, really. You either factor that into your calories for the week or you just toss that stuff and not worry about it. The guac was really good as well. I just had it with the chips, not on top of the bowl, but you could put it in your bowl if you wanted to. It add about probably 180 to 200 calories per bowl. So overall, do I recommend Chipotle catering as meal prep? If you are a huge Chipotle fan, yeah, World's Your Oyster, go for it. Um, a couple of things I don't personally love about it is I feel like I didn't get enough protein in my meals. I wasn't able to change my meals up enough. The price was a little higher than what I wanted it to be, and the sodium levels were just a little bit high as well. Um, for me, it was fun. Like I would definitely, like, I'm still gonna eat Chipotle all the time. Like it didn't like stir me away from eating Chipotle. I'm still gonna crave it, but I don't think I want it five days a week, twice every day. <laughs> so that's my opinion on the Chipotle catering. Next, we're gonna be trying two of the most popular meal prep companies, the meal prep online companies that send you all the food and you freeze it, put it in the fridge and have it throughout the week. That is going to be a very, very good video. So make sure you're subscribed for that. You're not going to want to miss it. But for this video, I'm going to finish my last bowl of Chipotle catering. And I'll see you guys in the next one.